Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get animated wallpapers or live wallpapers in 2025. But first guys, if you want, you can go down on this video in the comment section and click on the first comment that I pinned. This will bring you to my Fiverr and here you can get a YouTube logo and banner or a modern minimalist YouTube logo and banner for your YouTube channel. But now back to the video. So I'm going to go ahead and jump right in here. I'm going to type lively wallpapers you can see. It's the original site, it's rockdennister.com. This is their official website where you can actually get the lively wallpaper app. So as you can see, the website is already interactive as well. And here you can basically click on the download if you want to have it. Now there's actually another way, an easier way nowadays to actually get it, which is if we go back here and we just type lively wallpaper once again, let's actually go to the Microsoft store. And so as you can see right here, we can just simply download it. And so it actually went to our downloads right now. But I'm first actually going to get our animated wallpaper. So for that, as you can see, I'm back in Google here. I'm going to type animated wallpapers, as you can see. As you can see, there are actually multiple websites that will have some free animated wallpapers. Now I'm actually going to go down and go to Moo Walls. And I'm only going to go to Moo Walls here to get our animated wallpaper. And as you can see, we already have the latest videos right here. Here you have a bunch of categories and here resolutions. If you want a specific resolution right here, you can also filter it on that. And so I'm actually going to go ahead and find a wallpaper here. I can, by the way, also filter on sound here. So if you want an animated wallpaper that has sound or not, you can filter that right here as well. It's a little bonus here. But as I said, I'm going to try and find a wallpaper here. Okay, so there you go. I found this one that I liked. Okay, as you can see, if I played here it's going to be the preview as you can see right there and so i can go ahead and download the wallpaper as you can see it will start here in the upper right corner depending on the length of the video and the size it might take longer than others it really depends how big of a file it's going to be but since these are 10 to 15 second videos they aren't really long and as you can see when it's done it comes up here in the upper right corner and we can actually do show and folder and as you can see we have both right here as you can see this is going to be the lively wallpaper setup and here is our wallpaper so it's an mp4 file and here once again i can show you this is going to be the mp4 in question from the Elden Ring. And so what we're gonna do then is actually launch the setup right here. As you can see, it's through the Microsoft Store and it shouldn't take too long. There we go, as you can see, it will launch. And as you can see, here we have it. You can also make it a bit bigger. Here we have some examples that you can use as an animated wallpaper. Up here we have gallery. Now it's been a while since it said coming soon. Last time I did a tutorial on this, it already said coming soon. So I don't know what they're planning, but I might be expanding it. But for now, you can't see anything new. Updates, sometimes you might want to check for some updates here. That could be important. So if you're using this regularly, make sure to keep an eye on that. So that's definitely a newer window right here. If we go back to library. Here up here, as you can see, we see a little plus. That means add wallpaper. So I'm going to click that. So now we're mainly going to have two options here. Choose a file. So obviously this is what I'm going to do because I downloaded my own animated wallpaper. But you could also alternatively use an URL. I can show you, you can actually take that, for example, from YouTube. Now you can really put anything you can think of from YouTube or any other platforms where you can get a URL from and put it as your background, as your wallpaper. But I'm, as an example, just going to choose one of these right here. Okay, so I'm actually going to go with this one right here. Let's see, give you a little preview. And basically what you want to do then is go to the URL, obviously up here, Control C. Then you go back here We actually do enter URL. So we're going to remove this one right here and do Control V. Then click on the arrow here. As you can see, the video will come up again and you can actually give this a title and then you click OK. And now if I minimize this, there we go, I put the sound a bit down, but basically you can do it as a URL. So any desktop shortcuts you have will actually be over the animated wallpaper, as you can see right here. For example, the recycle bin. So don't worry about that. I have to say, I do actually personally prefer to actually just alt my own MP4 here. So I can actually just delete this one. So I'm going to go up here again to alt wallpaper. And obviously this time around, I'm going to alt the one that I downloaded. As you can see, it was in my download. So it's just this one right here. Once again, you can give it a title here if you want. And here's the wallpaper itself. And if I minimize this, as you can see, our wallpaper is right here. Now, some of the wallpapers will have a little watermark in the corner or anything else. You can well look out for that, of course, if you don't want it. There are also plenty who don't don't have it so don't worry too much about that it depends on the video you can get you can also just download an mp4 from youtube and actually import it as i just did with my own mp4 and import that from your pc so that it should be easier for you to have it because i do prefer this way over the url as you can see, if I'm back here and I go to the three dots, you have the information that we saw earlier. You can also preview it before actually getting it. Open file location, so you know exactly where it is downloaded. Now we saw it was in my downloads. You can also share and delete it, of course, as it did earlier as well. Or edit the title and anything like that. But I'm basically going to go to customize here. Now here's pretty interesting. You can do some little changes here. They're very optional. You don't have to. But some can be like the brightness. You can make it brighter. Now obviously to make it too bright. You can add some contrast or remove some. As you can see, you can make some changes here. You can even make it change color if you change the hue enough. As you can see, so you can play around with that. It can be pretty interesting. These are optional. You can also leave this all at zero. But for example, you can speed it up. If you think it's not fast enough, you can actually 
as you can see, speed it up right here and actually go pretty fast. Now do keep in mind if you make it even a little bit faster, that this might not always work very smoothly at times. Because some PCs, especially low-end PCs with a low CPU, might have some trouble running it more smoothly as I said. So you could consider taking a simpler animated wallpaper, of course to have a better performance, if you really feel you need to. So that's also something important to keep in mind. Now I will at the end of this video show you how you can actually increase the CPU. But for now I'm just going to go back to lively wallpaper here. Just going to click OK here again. And if I actually go back here, you can see I have one active wallpaper here. And so here you actually have some extra options that can be pretty interesting. So screen right here, just takes over the whole screen. You can also do spawn and duplicate so that you have, for example, have multiple monitors. If you, for example, have two or three screens or even more, you can duplicate them and they'll play simultaneously on all of your displays. So that's always nice. You can always choose to always pick the screen you actually want in question. So do make sure that all of the screens connected to your PC are actually selected and available right here. So that if you want to have it on more than one desktop that you can actually, as I said, duplicate them or spawn them across multiple ones. It can always look nice. So do know that you actually have that option as well. Then I'm going to click OK here. I'm actually going to go to the settings. So you can actually play it on startup. So when start with Windows, if this is on, this actually plays whenever you actually start up Windows. So if you immediately want to have it, so if that's something you want, definitely click that. System tray icon. Now the system tray icon, in case you don't know what that is, it's if you go down here to this little arrow, you'll be able to see all of the applications that are running here in the background. So that's what the system tray icon is. And basically the lively wallpaper will pretty much always be here. So that's something that you can put on as well. If you don't want it to be down here alone, or you want it strictly to be here, make sure system tray icon is on. Now they also have a theme here. Now don't get this confused with the animated wallpaper. This is the theme of the application, not the wallpapers. So the application of Lively wallpapers itself, this will be the theme of that. And it has nothing to do with the wallpapers, so keep that in mind. Now once again, in case your wallpaper has volume, you can actually manage that right here. If you go to performance here, you can also do it in full screen. If you actually want that, you can actually go ahead and do that. You have to click on the play button here. Battery saver as well. Now this is already something that can actually help, especially of course if you have like a laptop, with the performance of your animated wallpaper, because this will help with the CPU. If for example you do a battery saver and you have like your laptop that's plugged in the charger, it could actually help, as I said, to run it more smoother with the performance thanks to the CPU. Now you can actually also put a picture of an animated wallpaper as a desktop wallpaper. You can also put that so that you actually don't want it to be moving for some reason. And you can also choose it to make fill, make it smaller on the screen. You can use the mouse to interact with it. Now here, very important, as you can see, I have mine set to MPV. You can change this around to see if it works better. Once again, it has to do with the video performance. Same with his GPU decode. So I would actually use my GPU. In this case, it's very useful because my GPU is going to be my graphics card. So if the, as it says right here, use hardware acceleration when possible so that the GPU actually actually comes in to help, I will actually make sure that that's the case. So I put it on because my graphics card can definitely help in case the CPU needs some help. And, and this is one I advise you to have it off because it's better for you to decide. Audio devices right here will be the play deck device. Now in my case, I will do the speakers so that you should be able to hear the background audio of the wallpaper. So make sure that you also have the right audio output here. Very important. But of course, not all of them will have audio. For example, the one that I'm using currently right now, that animated wallpaper does not have any audio. So I won't really need this anyway. But make sure that if you have one with audio, that you also select the right audio output device. And here's some screen saver settings. And here in system, you can also change the taskbar theme right here. So it's the taskbar down there. And debug is also in case an option if that's needed. Or create a log file of what you've saved. Anyway, I'm going to go back here. Now, if I'm here in the lively wallpaper main menu, I can actually just do close right here by clicking X. Now it'll actually say that it'll actually go to your system tray as we saw earlier. So it will be minimized to your system tray as the little icon. So I'm going to click OK. As you can see, this one is still here. The animated wallpaper is still running. But if I go to this system tray here, it's because lively wallpaper is also still running in the background in the system tray. So if I click it, as you can see, it was never really closed. It was still minimalized. It was still open basically, but in the background. Now, if you actually really want to close it, you can go back to the icons here and actually right click. And so open lively, you can just do that to open it again you can do close you can pause it but basically you can just do exit it stopped the animated wallpaper and closed the application of a lively wallpaper and if you want to find it back you can actually go back to search or it's going to type lively here wallpaper now what you actually can do is right click as well you can pin it to the taskbar you can pin it to start as well and of course you can just click on it again to open it and as you can see the animated wallpaper will also immediately open again last thing i wanted to mention is a quick little thing here to actually make your cpu better as well on top of the earlier settings that we saw within lively wallpaper increase the performance so what you do right here is actually right click on the taskbar and go to task manager you might have to scroll down here as you can see lively right here you can right click on lively and go to details you can click on it and right click and set priority and basically now it's to normal but if you do it on above normal high or real time it's going to increase the cpu performance so it's actually going to make so it's actually going to be smoother and your pc will have less of a hard time and actually give a priority to the lively wallpaper application and so does also the animated wallpaper to run more at a high speed help your cpu and actually run better in the background as i said if you're running into any kind of problems with like a laggy animated wallpaper and if you actually set it to that priority in question it will remember it you can always double check sometimes if you think that's going to lag again go back here and see if it's actually still selected on anything above normal high or real time and it could actually help you in case the wallpaper might be a bit laggy but anyways guys hope you enjoyed this video please if you like would be really nice subscribe to us be really nice and i'll see you guys in my next video bye